Okay, well, this is for Granddad and Slider. And um, Granddad, I I really liked your snowman. I liked it for years and years because of what it showed uh, as you let your little button cells run down in time. You know, at what point did the little solar waver stop moving? And uh, I always thought that was a fascinating long-term experiment on what these little solar wavers would do on a button cell instead of the solar cell. And so I built one up here. It's, it's a very simple one. And you can see that little uh, guy is just barely twitching. And what I wanted to know was what was the limit? Where does it go where it stops working? And from your videos, it's, it's around half a volt or so. But if you get this set up right, look at the amp draw. That's 11 microamps measured through a um, analog meter so that it's not uh, erroneous. And it's charging up the capacitor in that thing. And every once in a while that capacitor gets up enough voltage and it twitches that thing. And this is the way it's set up inside. It's a magnet on a pendulum with the coil. The mechanism is just a sharp edge on, on a round pivot point and it rocks back and forth and that's all that's in this particular one there's no other mechanism but the pendulum on the little man that rocks back and forth and it's just a uh, very very simple but that gets the job done for something that you just want to move at the bare minimum amount now this was the motor that i set up with the uh, AA battery with the 22k resistor just uh, paralleled into the solar panel and that bearing system there on a rotating setup i have decided is the best thing i've i've got going so far it's the most stable it's the most reliable yeah i'll have to change the oil every once in a while on it but uh, to me that's what i've been looking for something that runs at a constant speed it goes up and down in RPM uh, day and night, of course, but uh, um, it's uh, the most reliable thing. It doesn't stop, and that's, that's what I wanted was something that wouldn't I'd show up at the other house and it'd be stopped, but this one won't. This will just keep right on going. Yeah, you know, I have to change the battery maybe once a year, I'm thinking, maybe, maybe longer. But anyway, it'll just keep on going. But this thing here was for really for Granddad in the... Um, your little snowman project led me to this project, which has been really fascinating to find out what is the limit on one of these things. Where, where can you go at the bottom level and get something to, to work? Now, I used a 1 meg ohm potentiometer dialed up to 75,000 ohms to get this to just barely, barely move at the lower limit. And like I say, that's where that's at. Now, the voltage across the little waver here is just around half a volt. But it goes up and down depending on the charging of the capacitor. You see the little capacitor in there? Well, this little constant amount of power charges up that capacitor. When it gets to a certain point, the circuit triggers that capacitor and causes that little guy to twitch back and forth. Now, at a little bit more, he'll get to rocking back and forth. And once that thing starts rocking, as that magnet passes that coil, it induces a current back into the system. And at just a certain point, that just keeps on rocking back and forth. But uh, like I say, this was a fascinating experiment that I just did uh, based on Granddad's snowman. Thanks for watching.